Hey there, Spark fans. It's Aubrey here. Since it's been well over a year that we've all been isolated in our homes, I've been really impressed with what people have come up to do with their free time. At first, of course, it was the obsession with baking banana bread, and then the Netflix binges. But then, as time went on, people had to get a little more creative with what they did. And I've been impressed with the virtual games people have built. I was on Hackaday the other day, trying to get some inspiration, and I came across some wildly entertaining games. The first was an indoor hockey game, in which the puck lit up and produced different sounds based off of acceleration. The second was a virtual tennis game that used a NeoPixel display and a homemade paddle that actually illuminated the ball as if it was hit. And the last, my personal favorite, was someone turned the Google Chrome page not loading dinosaur game into a real life activity. So you had to actually jump for the dinosaur to jump over the cacti. Now all these games use a simple solution to track movement, an accelerometer. An accelerometer is one of the first and most important sensors you'll get as an electronics enthusiast. And here at SparkFun, we've just released two new triple axis accelerometer breakout boards from Kionix for you to get moving with. Let's check them out. First up is the KX132 Quick Board. The KX132 is a low power, 16-bit resolution, three-axis accelerometer with four user-selectable acceleration measurement ranges of 2, 4, 8, or 16 Gs. As a reminder, accelerometers measure in meters per second squared, or in g-forces. It has up to a 10 kilohertz output data rate, making it ideal for a wide range of acceleration measurements, as well as high-speed applications such as vibration and tap sensing. It has digital I2C up to 3.4 megahertz and digital SPI up to 10 megahertz. It comes with two quick connectors. It has a wide range of built-in sensing functions, including free fall, directional tap, double tap, and device orientation and activity algorithms. This board has a 512 byte FIFO buffer that continues recording data while being read. It has selectable low power or high performance operating modes and user configurable three stage advanced data path featuring low pass filter, low pass high pass filter and RMS calculation engines. It has low noise and high resolution wake up and back to sleep detection with configurable thresholds. We also have the KX134 Quick Breakout Board. The KX134 is also a low power, 16-bit resolution, three-axis accelerometer. And this board is capable of measuring 8, 16, 32, or 64 Gs. It has up to a 10 kilohertz output data rate, making it ideal for high G measurements, as well as high-speed applications such as vibration sensing. Similarly to the KX132, the KX134 has digital I2C up to 3.4 MHz and digital SPI up to 10 MHz. It has two quick connectors and again, a wide range of built-in sensing functions including free fall, directional tap and double tap, and device orientation and activity algorithms. Again, it has a 512 byte FIFO buffer that continues recording data while being read, selectable low power or high performance operating modes, user configurable three-stage advanced data path featuring low pass filter, low pass high pass filter, and an RMS calculation engine. It has low noise and high resolution wake up and back to sleep detection with configurable thresholds. These precise and compact breakout boards make it easy to start sensing vibration and acceleration in your projects. In fact, Rob just built a project using the KX132 that helps remind him to stop nodding off during meetings, which is something we all could use from time to time. So when you need motion in your next project, whether that's building a system that uses voodoo dolls and video games, or creating an indoor tennis league with your friends from afar, make sure to pick up one of these triple access accelerometers from sparkfun.com to help get you started. And of course, happy hacking. Hey there, Spark fans, our adoring Spark fans. You know, since it's been well over a year, since we've all been, one more time, one more time. The people did not build Tiger King. <laughs> Tiger King built itself. I just say game a lot, but whatever. It's all a game. Life is a game, you know? What's wrong with my, what's wrong with this, man? Is it like, I gotta step back, right? <laughs> this is just the one more time. And then, <laughs>